Now that you understand how to operate your AT Gold metal detector and how various targets can sound, it's time to put the operational knowledge to use. For best detection results, keep your search coil at a constant height and parallel to the ground at all times. Walk slowly as you scan your search coil in a straight line from side to side at a speed of about one meter per second. Overlap each sweep by about half of the search coil's width to avoid missing any targets. In order to achieve the deepest depth of detection, avoid lifting the search coil at the end of your swing. Pinpointing is very simple with the AT Gold. To demonstrate, I've got a decent sized gold nugget here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the ground. I've dug a hole about two inches deep. I'm gonna put it in there and cover it up. And I'm gonna mark my spot with this colored chip. This is just for demonstration purposes to make it easier to see where the pinpointing is happening. Now the basic technique is the, the standard pinpointing where people like to use the pinpointing button. So if I'm coming along and get a good target signal, I determine where that is, where I've got the strongest signal. And forward, backward, east, west, north, south. And if I want to use the pinpoint button, I just come off to the side of that strongest signal. Press the pinpoint button and go back over it. On my LCD screen, I'm watching the meter at the top, but I'm also primarily listening to the audio, listening for the, sound, the strongest response I've got, as well as the strongest signal across the top if I'm watching. Pinpoint button pressed. Strongest audio, it's falling off. And again, the strongest audio. I'm pinpointed right over the top of the target, as you can see by moving the coil away. Using our same gold nugget target that's depicted with this uh, blue chip, another uh, pinpointing technique that a lot of people like to use is pinpointing off either the tip or the tail. And in this scenario, again, you've located your target, you've got a strong signal. So I step to the side and I pinpoint and I come over it. Once I've got my strongest signal, I'll just push forward. Once my meter dives off or my audio dives off or both, it should be right off the, the tail of the detector right there off the search coil. Alternatively, if I come back across it and pinpoint and pull it toward me, where my signal drops off, it's going to be right off the tip end of that coil. One more pinpointing technique that's really easy with this 5x8 double D coil is what we call the DD wiggle. As you come in and find a target, you can do this without even using the pinpoint button. Find the target suspected location, move off to the side, and then just start wiggling, real tight wiggles, moving toward your suspected area. You can just go back and forth real tight on the target like that and when you hear that very repeatable sound, you're right on it. You can move forward and back, east and west, north and south, just a little bit to make sure. That's the good thing about this double D is you can get a very tight detection pattern and pinpoint without even using the pinpoint just by using this wiggle technique. The AT Gold can be submerged in water to a maximum depth of 10 feet or 3 meters. Use of the detector below these depths can cause leaks and void the manufacturer's warranty. The AT Gold is ideal for searching in and along freshwater streams, shorelines, piers, or swimming holes. Since it is optimized to find small gold pieces, it is not recommended for use in salt water. The AT Gold's ability to find small gold makes it equally reactive to the conductivity of salt water. 
This detector's ground balance adjustment is optimized to provide the greatest resolution in the normal ground range and is not designed to address salt water. The AT Gold will, however, perform well for hunting jewelry and coins on dry sand beaches. The headphones included with the AT Gold are standard land search headphones. They can be used for searching along waterways and for wading. If you're going to completely submerge the headset, there are optional headphones available from Garrett, which are completely waterproof. The AT Gold's LCD gives a continual indication of the remaining battery life. This battery level indicator displays four illuminated bars when the detector is operating with fresh or fully charged batteries. The AT Gold will remain fully functional until the batteries need to be replaced. When the battery level indicator is down to one bar, it's time to replace the batteries or recharge them. Nickel metal hydride rechargeable AA size batteries can be used or regular AA size alkaline batteries. Expect 20 to 40 hours of operation depending upon the type of batteries used and their quality. Access and replace the batteries by rotating the battery cover housing one quarter turn counterclockwise. Pull and remove the cap to slide the battery holder out. Remove batteries when the AT Gold will be stored for longer than 30 days. The AT Gold is a rugged machine designed for outdoor use in all environments. However, as with all electronic equipment, there are some simple ways to care for the detector to maintain its high performance. Avoid extreme temperatures as much as possible, such as storing the detector in an automobile trunk during the summer or outdoors in sub-freezing weather. Keep the detector clean. Wipe the control housing with a damp cloth when necessary. Disassemble the stem and wipe it and the search coil clean with a damp cloth. Replace the protective cover on the connector when not using the headphones. Your Garrett AT Gold represents the highest quality in metal detector manufacturing. Protect it and complement it with quality accessories from Garrett, like these. Protect your new search coil with a coil cover to lengthen its lifespan. There's also a full array of accessory search coils available for the AT Gold including a larger 8.5 by 11 inch double D coil, two different size concentric search coils, and even a 4.5 inch super sniper coil for tiny targets and for getting into tight areas. Garrett's Ram Publishing Company offers a number of books designed to help you find more treasure. You can find these books and others at your local Garrett dealer's shop or you can visit garrett.com for more information. Finally, you will need tools to recover your discoveries. The Garrett Pro Pointer Pinpointing Detector is an essential tool to speed your target recovery time. The Pro Pointer's audible and vibrating alarms increase in intensity as the pinpointer moves closer to the target. The Garrett Retriever Digging Tool is ideal for prospecting work. The Retriever's angled digging blade is rugged enough to pick through tough ground, or to chop small roots. Its raked teeth can comb through sand or soil to help locate smaller targets. And the retriever's built-in magnet clears junk metal from the excavation area. Study your country's antiquity laws concerning metal detecting before you use your metal detector. A sincere request that Charles Garrett makes of every user of one of his detectors is that each place searched be left in better condition than it was found. When hunting, it's good to remember that any metal detector may discover underground power lines, explosives, or other items which, when struck, could cause personal injury. Always use reasonable caution in digging toward any target, particularly in areas where you're uncertain of underground conditions. To truly understand your new AT Gold, spend at least 10 hours searching in the all-metal mode. Dig and study all of your targets during your learning phase. Do not expect to achieve the greatest accuracy and success, however, until you've used this detector for at least 100 hours or more. This instructional video gives you a real head start on learning to use the AT Gold properly. Watch it several times. 
Meanwhile, study your owner's manual and you'll begin to develop hunting techniques of your own. Your success will increase as you begin to master your AT Gold. It's up to you. Happy hunting.